Mike Levitt back with the second to last part of my 10 part corrugated kicks cardboard Chuck Taylor tutorial series. If you followed along up to this point, you have an almost finished shoe in your hands. You just need some grommets, laces, and a plan to color, paint, or otherwise pattern your shoe. Personally, I love the look of unpainted raw cardboard, but if you want to paint, you go about it different ways. You can paint as you go while you're working, or you can finish all the construction, grommets, and laces included, then paint the shoe. If you want to paint, you can split the difference and throw a quick coat of black down on your shoe body now before doing the grommets and laces. A shoelace. Use a long ruler or straight edge to trace a line then cut it or cut straight off the ruler edge. You can also use the straight edge of a piece of cardboard to trace a straight line and then cut it out. I recommend just finding the longest stretch of dismantled box that you can. You can also splice shorter sections together with tape and glue. At the two ends of your lace, cut a tapered tip. This will help thread the lace through the lace holes. If you're ready to cut grommets, let's do it. Use a standard hole punch to punch 20 different holes in a scrap of cardboard, each a little over an inch apart. You can also use a pencil tip to poke and quote, drill the holes. Just make them about a quarter inch in diameter. Then trace a circle around each hole with a dime, pen cap, or some other little circular object a little less than three quarters of an inch in diameter. I use a metal washer. Then cut each circle out around the punch holes. Cut smaller and smaller pieces down around each circle. Don't try cutting right into each circle. Also, cut them in small batches. Don't try cutting all 20 at the same time. I usually cut about five at a time. You can also cut the three quarter inch circles first, then punch the lace holes after. It's just another way to do the same thing. Next, it's time to glue the grommets. You can also paint them before gluing if you want. But we'll talk more about painting in the next and last part of the tutorial series. Also, you probably have punched your lace holes in the shoe body already, but just in case you haven't, do that now. If you don't have a standard hole punch to punch these 20 different lace holes, you can use a sharp pencil to poke and quote drill the holes about a quarter of an inch diameter in width. Liberally apply glue to the back of each grommet, let your glue get almost tacky, then center each grommet in each laced hole. Wait for the grommet glue to fully set before doing any lacing. My book has a little lacing diagram to detail my technique. Basically, you can thread your cardboard lace exactly like a real shoe. I do a shoe store display technique just because it looks cool and it's a little easier to thread. Instead of crossing each lace to the opposite side of the shoe, I run the lace up the same side of the shoe, skip one lace hole, then thread it across the shoe. That's it for grommets and laces. They're pretty straightforward. It's just a pain to cut out all those little grommets. Otherwise, you should be ready for their 10th and final step let me know if you have any questions.